Uh, what's up guys? My name is Chris. I am 26 years old. Uh, I live in Miami, Florida and uh, basically I'm, I don't do YouTube videos. I have been going crazy researching over the last honestly year and a half uh, top surgeons for t my top surgery. Um, I am transgender, uh, female to male and it's been a long journey. Uh, these last couple of years, I've been on testosterone since uh, my birthday, which was October. Well, the birth my birthday of twenty seventeen. I took my first shot on October twenty fourth, twenty seventeen, and uh, since then I've been kind of you know obsessively researching uh, top surgery to have top surgery done, and I know it's something that I've been wanting for a while now, and so I have found several surgeons that I've I've, I've actually. I've met with three different surgeons. So this is kind of going to be like a, a three part video just because I figured it'd be easier to split up uh, each video uh, by each surgeon that I met with. Um, just cause you know, if you're just interested in one of the surgeons, you don't have to watch the entire length of one video. So the first surgeon that I'm going to talk about is Dr. Russell Sasani. That's who I met with down here in, in South Florida. He is located in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, take shape, take shape. Plastic surgery is is the name of his of his office, and um, I have here just some information um, from like meeting him and stuff like that. Um, the cost that it was going to cost me. Um, so I am going to point out that I do have health insurance through my employer. I have a uh, United Healthcare. So honestly, it was really important for me to find a surgeon that does take health insurance because I have it and I think it's ridiculous to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on a surgery that I know um, my health insurance can you know cover. So Dr. Sasani does take uh, health insurance. However, um, some of that has changed. Uh, more of that uh, later on. So I met with Dr. Sasani January of 2019. Um, he does do phone consultations, which are free. However, I'm in Miami. Fort Lauderdale is like a 45 minute hour tops drive. So I was like, might as well just drive up there and meet with him. I'd rather meet with him in person than have a phone call. So, um, and oh, I do need to point out, I did have a phone call with him the year before in 2018 that's just going back to me i did have a phone call with him in 2018 and he and i was uh where was i i was i i think i was in jacksonville at the at the time um no i was in orlando i was in orlando at the time i was working for disney i was in orlando at the time and i had a phone call com uh, consultation with him and uh uh, he quoted me um, with my, I know I didn't have health insurance. I, I don't think, no, I didn't have health insurance at the time. Um, he, they had quoted me, uh, I believe $6,600 for my uh, surgery. Um, yes, it was $6,600 uh, for my surgery when they quoted me originally. And however, when I met with him the following year, because I moved back down to South Florida, when I met with him in January of 2019, um, his prices had gone up by then, um, but his uh, office person was like, because you had a consultation with him uh, the summer prior, uh, we are going to um, uh, go ahead and, 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 and keep that quote that we had originally given you. So that was like in the ballpark range of like, it was between like $6,500 and like $7,000. Now he charges, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like $8,500 out of pocket. Um, and so when I got my job that I currently have now with my health insurance, um, and I met with him with insurance, it was going to be uh, six thousand six thousand six hundred dollars and uh, he charges like lipo for liposuction um, he basically told me that like 95% of his patients need liposuction and the way that he bills insurance he doesn't bill the liposuction with the insurance which kind of ticked me off because the insurance the liposuction is three thousand five hundred dollars 
and that is a base price for everyone. Mind you, this is back, like this was literally a year ago. I don't know if any of that has changed, uh, but his base price for liposuction was $3,500. Didn't matter if you needed a little bit of liposuction, didn't matter if you needed a whole ton of liposuction. It was $3,500 out of pocket. Didn't matter if you had insurance or not, that's how much you were gonna pay. So I was already gonna pay $3,500. And then um, through my employer with United Healthcare, um, I have, uh, uh, I guess you can say like a crappier version of the health insurance that my employer uh, provides because my deductible is $2,000 and my out-of-pocket max was $5,000. Meaning that my surgery um, was going to cost me $6,600 with the insurance and half of that was the liposuction. Um, I don't unfortunately have the paperwork anymore that they gave me uh, with all the prices and stuff like that. So this is just kind of like off the top of my head. Uh, I threw away those papers when I realized that I didn't want to go to Sasani anymore for my top surgery. Um, so yeah, it was going to be $6,600 uh, with Dr. Sasani. Now, this is where things started to change. Um, and I met with another surgeon after Sasani that a friend had gone to and I met with him just cause like, I was like, I don't, I don't wanna just stick to one surgeon. I want to shop around and figure out who's gonna be the best uh, fit for me. And um, more on the second video of the second surgeon that I met with. Um, however, over the summer, um, I hadn't decided yet which surgeon I was gonna go to yet. Over the summer, I received a letter from United Healthcare. Um, I don't have the original letter anymore. I do have a, a photo of it because I sent it to a friend who lives here in Florida who's also planning on having top surgery. Um, and he also works for my same employer, so I wanted to let him know, you know, what was going on. Um, so this is the letter that I received from United Healthcare. It says, Dear United Healthcare member, United Healthcare is committed to providing its customers with access to a broad network of physicians, hospitals, and other healthcare professionals to meet their individual needs. Occasionally, for a variety of reasons, a relationship ends between our network and a physician. Beginning November 1st, 2019, Dr. Russell Sasani will no longer participate in the United Healthcare Network. Our records show that you or a dependent covered under the plan has seen Dr. Russell Sasani within the last several months. To continue receiving the highest level of benefits, you should choose another physician within the United Healthcare Network for care that you, you will receive beginning November 1st, 2019. Um, so it says, if your physician recommends another physician to you, please call customer care, blah, blah, blah. So basically, this letter that they sent me over the summer, um, I received this letter, I think in like, I think it was like June or July of summer of 2019. Um, when I got this letter, I started panicking, basically, because at that point, I, you know, was kind of like, whatever, I'm going to have to go to Dr. Sasani. Um, because the second surgeon I met with doesn't take health insurance. More on that later. Um... So when I got that letter, I was freaking out. I was like, oh great, uh, I'm gonna have to find another surgeon uh, here in South Florida or in Florida and wait, wait, it's like slim pickings out here um, that's gonna take my insurance. So um, I later came to find out that Dr. Sasani has dropped several insurances since then. It, it's not only uh, United Healthcare, so I had to find another surgeon. I was like, I'm, I'm not about this. I was already on the fence about him because of the liposuction that he, the tr that he charges three thousand five hundred dollars for the liposuction. Um, so getting this letter over the summer was kind of like a turning point. Like my AC had kicked in, so I'm gonna backtrack on what I was saying. Um, so yeah, because you know Sasani charged so much for the liposuction, and then my health uh he dropped my health insurance i figured i needed to find another surgeon um so this is where i'm going to end this first video um the second video is going to be about me de uh, meeting with dr paul Wagoda, who is uh, another surgeon down here in south florida he's uh, fairly new to top surgery um but yeah if you're interested in hearing about that go ahead and watch the second video and then if you don't really care about that uh, you can watch the third video, which is going to be me talking about the surgeon that I'm finally going to be having top surgery with.